What's going on everybody? This is me Alex and in today's video we're going to be comparing Apple's latest tablet, the iPad Air 2, against Apple's last year's tablet, the original iPad Air. So without any further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. So the basics of Apple's 2014 iPad Air is it has a 9.7 inch at a 24 by 48 by 1546 display with 264 ppi. This is the gold 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi model right here and it has the new AAX 64 bit chip and an M8 motion coprocessor. It also comes with a revamped 8 megapixel eyesight front facing camera and a 1.2 megapixel FaceTime camera up on the front. The screen on this iPad Air is absolutely amazing and it does really compare from a different iPad Air's perspective. If you're coming from an iPad 2 or any other iPad with a non-retina display, then well, this is pretty much going to be a huge difference for you. If you notice already, the home button on the new iPad Air is the new fingerprint sensor. It works sort of like the it works just like the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 as well as the iPhone 6 Plus. However, the iPad Air Air for some reason it looks like to me has better accuracy than both of those devices. If you take a look here the gold uh, version is a bit uh, on the champagne side just as you would see I like on the iPhone 5s but the main feature really comes in at the uh, thinness since this is uh, less than one pound only 6.1 millimeter thin. Here you notice on the bottom of the iPad Air, the original, it has two, uh, four sets of speakers, uh, two grills on each side, and you get uh, a lot smaller speaker holes. Over here on the new iPad Air, you get a, two sets of grills, but they're about twice the size of the holes that you see on the original iPad Air. So you do get a lot more sound from your iPad, however these are still mounted on the bottom of the side of the iPad when you're holding it in a horizontal position, which really pissed me off. But over here, they are still operated by the single slot lighting connector along with tier. One thing that one major thing that they got rid of was the volume control uh, mute button, which actually is now replaced by a microphone there to help support and surround sound. Uh, you also uh, get the increased volume buttons, which are no longer sticking out of the side. They're more like inside this little drilled cave in here that they're covered. They do pop out a bit, but not as much as the iPad Air. Up top, you get a, a subtraction of the microphone up top, and now it's replaced with the one on the side. You also get the um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with the power button and home sleep button moved onto the side so it does really compensate total and total out really in equality over here in this left hand side of the iPad you get well nothing uh, that's right you don't get anything at all just like you do on any iPad the camera here is a huge difference from last year's camera but as I reluctant as I've been to use the iPad's camera, even when stuck any other options, the iPad Air's 2 design does make it uniquely well to suit that task. Uh, this iPad Air 2 takes amazing pictures and I definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to take pictures with an iPad because it's better than the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus put together. Um, anyways guys, that has been it for today. If you guys enjoyed this comparison between the iPad Air and the iPad Air 2, please make sure you subscribe for more. See you guys in my next one. Peace.